Hello, it's Scott Manley here and I am playing Surgeon Simulator 2013, quite possibly the best simulator game ever created. This is of course the full version of Surgeon Simulator, which was originally a 48 hour game. This is a, a, the full version, which was <laughs> made in a whole 48 days. Oh yeah, so you see what we got, we got the buttons to control the, the and the same looks like the controls are the same as before, but instead of being faced with the surgery, we have a desk. Ooh, the phone's ringing. Let's try and talk on the phone. Um, nope. Come on, handset. Oh no, no. Oh, I get achievements. I guess this has an achievement now. Come on. Oh, crap. I guess I messed that one up. Oh well. Uh. I would put the phone back on its cradle, but uh, I really have to practice surgical skills. Let's let's pick up this box. Nope, nope. Um, come on. Yes, back on the cradle. No. Nope. Oh, I picked up a pen as well at the same time. Nice. Uh, okay. Oh, that's the menu. I guess that's very cool. And we have a glue stick here. I wonder if, what I can do with that. Got a pen. Nice, okay. Oh, and there's paper. I wonder if the... I wonder if I can write on the paper. Let me, uh... Let me try and grab this up using my surgical dexterity. Come on. Come on, it's very important that I, as a surgeon, need to be able to make notes and to, uh... collect information. In, in particular, I need to be able to record time of death. That is why I have a rather snazzy cal... Oh, I guess the pen isn't working. Uh, maybe it doesn't work. Maybe. Yeah, it's very nice to have that calculator watch from the 80s, especially. It looks to me like it only has 12 buttons on the front, which isn't really enough to do a proper, um, proper recall, recall. <laughs> it isn't enough to do a record time of death correctly. <laughs> no, no, it isn't enough to, oh, it, gee, wow, this is a pretty cheap watch. Not only does it only have 12 buttons, uh, it, it, the strap randomly breaks. Come on, let's see if this pen works. Yay! I can now create works of art that Picasso himself would be proud of if it wasn't for the fact that he was dead and, you know, Spanish. Oh, Nigel the Secretary. Hey, excellent. More achievements. I, I like this. This is some sort of... I'm designing my new rocket. That's what I'm doing. It goes that way. And I'm planning my orbital trajectory. Very important to be a surgeon with uh, astrodynamics experience because you never know when you have to put surgical tools into orbit. There, that, that's the orbit that it's going to follow. And when it finally arrives, it will do something. Okay, what else have we got? Get a computer. Uh, a Unity computer, obviously saying that this is powered by Unity. I can push all my fingers. I wonder if I can push keys in the keyboard. That would be one. Nope. 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 Trying to trying to push buttons to see if I can get some letters. No. No. It doesn't look like they've actuated anything in the keyboard. Oh well. Can I push the button? On the oh. Hey. Get the disc out. That's a control disc. Excellent. Okay. And let me just grab that. Let me grab that disc. I want to see if I can put this other disc in. It says something. There's also, yeah, post-it notes. Were post-it notes invented in the late 80s? This is 1988. I wonder when the first post-it notes were <laughs> were released. Oh, come on. Ah, no, I don't need this phone. This is archaic technology. Actually, uh, I say that and there's a an HD floppy disk here. Actually, come to think of it, were HD floppy disks invented in 1988? Um, back then, I was using an Atari ST and it had double density disks. That could fit a whole 360K on one side, or 720 if I used both sides. But when I bought my Atari ST, I was a poor person and I only got a single-sided floppy disk, which was a trouble for a long time because I never had... Uh, there was a bunch of games that started to require double-sided disks and I was a sad panda until I hacked open my case to put in a proper disk drive. 
But uh, yeah, the, the HD discs now, they would have been cutting edge. That meant this must be a really fancy computer at this time. Probably running a version of Windows 1.0 even. But yeah, HD discs could contain a whopping 1.44 megabytes of data. That is like enough for about a minute and a half of music in MP3 format or maybe a couple of really crappy images. Oh yes, look at that fabulous game. Look at, I, wow. I have to say, I think that game looks way better than anything that was available in that era on a PC floppy disk because back then they would all been running EGA or CGA. I, I think that this world is not quite as immersive as I had imagined. But then again, I have managed to spend a whole five minutes sitting at a virtual doctor desk. Oh, I wonder if I can push the mouse buttons. Maybe maybe I can make something happen in the game. No? Come on, I want to hear a clickety-click. No clickety-click. Okay, screw that. Well, uh, is there anything else I can mess around with? What about the music? Can I... Let's go in, try and adjust the music. Nope. Nope. No, I think I thought it got louder, but I think I'm just imagining it. Well, so much for that. Oh, I noticed the clock is actually showing the right time. That's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, let's look back to this menu. We have two achievements already. Six percent. That's awesome. Oh, the heart transplant. I remember this. Ah, uh, it's like coming back to an old friend. An old friend with a rib cage that is all exposed. Ah, no, the hand, the, 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 the thing is attacking me. Okay, what do we got? Blood level, buttons, do any of the buttons work? No, we have blood kind of floating around. We have a heart rate. 96, beep, beep. The music, the heartbeat is not in time with the music. Okay, that makes no sense. Ah, okay, so, 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 let me see, what do we need? We have, ah, yes, the circular saw. Oh, and I've already lost my watch again. Well, that's a good thing that didn't come off when it was inside the patient, because, well, it would just be like that crocodile in Peter Pan, right? It would be, uh, you know, the Peter Pan, the, the crocodile had an alarm clock that would tick, 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 and that made Captain Hook afraid, so this one would, you know, I would fear this, I would be able to hear this individual coming towards me because of the sound of calculating going on. Aha! Taking those bones apart. Excellent! Uh, just cutting through there, trying to chop my way with greatest surgical delicacy I can muster. Come on! Uh, don't lose too much blood. Excellent! Oh, that's almost halfway done. And just rotate and assault these ribs. Come on, it's got a break. There we go, that looks broken. Okay, so now let's take the other half of the rib cage off. Well, obviously, we need to pull the rib cage off so we can get at the lungs. And then once we get the lungs out of the way, the heart is there. Uh huh. Come on. Nope, nope, come on. Just work a little harder. There's more sound effect. You know, there's no. Where's, where's Nigel screaming? Oh, what have I done? I haven't heard that. Uh, nope. Come on, come on. Come on. Ah! No, 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 no. Come on. In there. In there. Just a little more. Just one more. Just, come on! The entire rib cage is held on by, like, one rib. Nope, I don't need to cut that one. His, he has a blood loss rate of 4 milliliters per second, and that is, I hope to keep that under control. Yay, okay, we have cleared way for further, further access. Now, get those pesky lungs out of the way. They're only, oh, no, that's a bit of bone. Lung, 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 nope. Okay, that's another, another piece of bone. Ah, oh, there's another piece of bone. And the heart is there beating underneath. Nope. Oh, come on. Lung! No! Nothing there. Just grabbing and hopefully at some point the lungs will start coming with me. No. Lung, lung, lung. Hey! Gotcha! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tasty, tasty lungs. Uh, uh, sorry, um... Helpful organs. Don't fall on the floor. We have a five-second rule with organs. If you fall on the floor, we can't put you back in. 
Uh, especially since I can't actually turn the camera and see the ground. Oh, you are a feisty little one. You do not want to come out. Gum. Gum. Twist. Yay! Oh, something else fell out. That's a new thing. Oh, they've enhanced the anatomy in this part. I don't know what it was, but it fell out. Uh, it was probably something useless like the liver, right? Okay, we have a heart we need to cut out. So we need some one of these cutty things here. Hey, excellent. Look, holding it between my pinky and my ring finger. Look, that is that is the pro style, right? Don't let anyone tell you that the, the thumb is needed. The thumb is for amateurs. Real surgeons hold implements between their fingers. They kind of twirl them around as well. Yeah, come on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Come on, we need to cut these arteries. Oh man, he's starting to bleed. No. So I'm kind of fighting. I guess I'm okay right now because it'll still take him ages to die. Still take him a good 10 minutes to die at this rate. Come on, we just need to cut these arteries and valves and stuff so we... Oh, oh, that's something else, I guess. Looks like that's the... I don't know, the stomach? The esophagus? Yeah, we, the esophagus, that's what they call it. That leads to the stomach. But that's just getting in the way of this heart. Come on! Oh, man, he's bleeding even faster still. I still haven't cut... Oh, that's it, it looks like he's done. Uh, come on. Get out of there, you st the heart has stopped beating. Uh, but we are now bleeding. How are we bleeding if the heart isn't actually beating? That... Does, does the heart need to pump to make things bleed? Okay, well, get that out of the way. Let's get the good heart. And as we say, the best way to a heart is in the box. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, oh good, it fell in that tray there. I hope it didn't get injected with one of those needles. Okay, in you go. In you go. Yay! Surgery complete. I got a C grade, but that was awesome. I, okay, I took five minutes. Okay. Well, can't be perfect. Ooh, is that a new disc there? Britannia 88. Disc 1. Oh, ah, crap. Okay. It's annoying. Can't they just put them in a... Ah, oh, there goes the watch again. <laughs> Lousy watch. Lousy watch. Of course. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, it, apparently I did the surgery horns. What, uh, uh, that's... That's what happens if you hold W-E in space. That's a pretty easy achievement. There's probably an achievement. Yeah, there we go. Rock on! Yeah. Oh! Let's get the phone. Let's get the phone. Come on. Well, let's try and do it this time. Pick up. Hey! Got it. <laughs> Terrible regional accent, but uh, that's highly enjoyable. I, I think bad voiceovers work perfectly in this. There we go. Okay, now I just need to figure out a way to manipulate this through. Oh, wow, it's stuck in my finger now. Ah, the disc is eating my finger. Uh, I, yeah, I like. Ah, my God, it's eating all my fingers. It's like the Philadelphia experiment. Oh, crap. Ah, dear. Okay, look, just let's pop this thing out. Maybe I'll come back to it. I'll slip it between my fingers. Oh, no. Yep. No. Come on. I want to see what's on this disc. It's very important. It might be highly useful information, or it might simply be more jokes. So, um... Okay, now gonna figure out how to rotate this through 90 degrees. Not to yeah, that's right. Come on. Oh no. Ah crap. No, that's the other way. Gah. I'm a surgeon and I can't put a disc in the disc drive. How hard is that? Actually, truthfully, most doctors I know are terrible with computers. <laughs> and I know quite a few. Okay, so turn this around the other way. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, controlling this thing bears very little resemblance to reality. Okay, well, that's a little closer now. Let's see if I can turn it. Turn it. Don't fall off the edge of the desk. Uh, yes, we're getting very close. We need to see what's on that disc. Oh, man. Come on. 
Danya 88. Oh, there we go. That's good. Man, it must be able to fit a whole... I wonder how much of an encyclopedia you can fit on floppy disk. 1.4 megabytes. Like, <laughs> it just seems so utterly minuscule. Okay, there we go. Floppy disk. In there. Oh, come on. Come on. Get in. Get in. Ah! Oh. Eat my disk, damn it! Eat it! It's there! It's a tasty, tasty disk! It's a high-density disk and it contains magnificent information which will make your mind explode! Well, come on. Come on! T yes! Thank you! Wow, that's actually pretty amazing graphics for 1988. Okay, so this is how to cut a heart out, I guess? And how to cut a stomach out? Oh, this is oh, this is the gullet knife, and this is the heart scalpel. So there's there's things that are for specific tasks, maybe. Be nice to have been have told me that before I did the operation. Okay, time to go translate transplant some kidneys. Not translate. I don't know how to translate kidneys. I only know how to replace them. But I'm sure I have many foreign individual viewers who will tell me what kidney is in various other languages. Oh yes, yes, you don't need to see this. Okay. So, ooh, that's an interesting looking gizmo. Um, so, I need to cut out the intestines, which means grabbing a scalpel. Yeah, come on, scalpel. Yay, okay, so I need to find, there's a couple of places to cut here, right? There's one here. Uh, no, come on, gotta get that unhooked. No, hey, there we go, got that one. And then get this one up here so I can take out the large intestine which uh, the large intestine is the one that is at the bottom it's reclaiming water and then uh, mostly you know sending poo on uh, come on ah come on I need to cut it oh and I've accidentally cut that one into the small intestine it must be around here somewhere there's a point I need to cut and as soon as I cut eh, there we go it turns to flubbery jelly jelly there we go I like the way there's a pencil sitting here so I can take notes while doing surgery. While my patient is bleeding to death. Okay, so now I need to cut cut this again. And I need to pick this up without picking up the note. No, I need the... Yes, I need the scalpel, but not the notebook. Ah, come on! Scalpel only, not the notebook. Hand, listen to me. Okay, so we got to cut just below the stomach, where the stomach meets the small intestine. Hey, first time. Excellent. Okay, now let's get this stuff out of here. There you go. There's some awesome tripe there, no doubt. Oh, yes. Come on, throw this over there. Ah, slimy sausage in your face. Slimy sausage in your face. Okay, so that I can see the kidneys now, but it looks like there's a couple of other things in the way. Like um, that brown thing, which I guess... I don't know, I'm guessing that's the liver. And I'm guessing the pink thing is the stomach because it hooks into the, the intestine, so it must be the stomach. So let's try and chop the stomach from the esophagus, right? That means I'll be able to pull the stomach. There we go. Oh, beautiful! And it looks like... Uh, there we go. Okay, let's grab the stomach. We can put it back in later. Or at least we can ask some intern to do it. As long as we don't drop it on the floor. Okay, let's try grabbing the, the liver. Uh, oh, no, we don't need that. Uh, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Okay, yes! Oh, no, don't fall in there! Don't fall in there! As I said... He sounds like Darth Vader, I don't know if you've noticed. Yes, okay. I'm trying to chop the the liver, the, the kidneys. The kidneys, of course, what they do is they take your blood and they take all the nasty stuff out and they make a pee. So let's try and grab stuff now. There's the, there's the liver just kind of floating around there. Grab it, damn it. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Maybe I should get rid of some of these ribs. I mean, ribs grow back, right? Don't they? Ah, oh, grab! No! 
No, 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 come on, Mr. Opposable Thumb. I didn't spend billions of years evolving you for you to not work. Okay, now pull! Pull! Do not let the pancreas hold you back. The pancreas cannot hold on to you in the face of my superior hand skills. Arr, arr. Come on! Maybe. If, wait, am I pulling the pancreas instead? I want the liver. Come on. There we go. Okay, try another angle here. Nope. All the time, my dude is slowly bleeding to death, but at least, you know, attacking him, trying to pull stuff out with my hand. Hey, I got it. Okay, that's his liver out of the way. Now I can actually get in at those those, those uh, kidneys. Okay, that one. No, come on. Turn my R hand a little. Of course, it doesn't help that you can't adjust the angle of viewing here, right? Hey, I think I got one. Hey, okay, that's one bad one away. Let's toss it to the side. And I th I'm not sure I need more. It's hard to tell with this one. With the heart, it stops beating, but these ones, they just kind of don't do anything. So I think I need to cut this one a little more. We have a. Whoop! Oh, no. No, is that good? I can't really see where I'm cutting. I, although, I guess if I if I if you could adjust the camera. I have no idea how you'd control that since like all your hands are, are already being used. I also want to see co-op in this game. I want to see two players, right? Each one controlling the left hand and the other controlling the right hand. Okay, let's go in and try and grab it now. I think I must have cut it, surely. Ah, uh, turn, turn, turn. Let me get my hand in your chest cavity. La 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 la. Okay, that's good. No. No, come on, no. Hey! Have I got it? Yes! Yes! Haha! <laughs> we are almost done. We now just need to get these two kidneys in. And with the kidneys, it's very important, apparently, that you put them exactly where you pulled the other ones out. Otherwise, they are not active. It's not as simple as merely... Oh, wait, I dropped that one. No, don't fall on the floor. Okay, okay, very carefully stick this in. Uh, yeah, that's close enough. Now i got to pick that up. Oh, crap. No, no, after all this operation, I don't want to go back. Come on. Don't fail me now. Oh, excellent. Have I got it? Nope, nope, almost. Come on, kidney. You can't escape my loving grasp. You know you don't want to be sitting out here in the cold. You want to be inside a warm, squishy body so that you can manufacture pee pee. Because that's what kidneys do. Uh, okay, come on. Now it's really bleeding down. I think I've got a couple of minutes left. Okay. That's us! Now get them into the right place. In there, in there, in you go, on you go, on you go. No? No, yay! Excellent! I get a D, okay. But hey, it only took seven minutes to save this guy's life. Haha! -ha. Now more things going on. Okay, oh, we get another disc, a disc two. Oh, oh, wow. I noticed the post it note. Call Tesha. I guess Tasha's the lawyer. I mean, God, that's the only person he should be talking to. <laughs> okay, now let's see if we can get this in here. Okay, come on, we don't need your instruction. Oh, wait, there's the phone, there's the phone. Let's see if we can grab it and get some more comedy regional accents. Ah, bollocks. Oh, well, so much for that. Okay, well, we don't need you anymore. No. Yeah. Nothing there. I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Okay, throw to that to the one side and let us get this disc in the drive. Get, get, you're kind of annoying me with your, your incessant ringtone sound. Okay, pop this out. Yes, excellent. Now, Britannia 88, disc 2. That means that Britannia 88 is full of at least 2.8 megabytes, 2.9 megabytes of awesome data. Okay, get in there. Up, down, up, down, in you go. No. Okay, I guess I'm going to try and straighten it out a little more. 
Come on. Okay. Uh, which figure shall I use? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a finger and push it. No. Nope. Come on, turn it around. No, you're going the wrong way. Ah, this is not happy. Ah. Yes, floppy disks, that's what they used to have until, well, you know, the internet got for reals. I can remember AOL sending out floppy disks before AOL sent out CDs. Ah, man, come on. I had so many games that would come in floppy disks. Three and a half inch disks, those are. There we go, excellent. Britannia 88 with their anachronistically good graphics. Okay, what is this saying? Gut scalpel. I notice the scalpel has a special shape. I wonder if you use a... Oh, and this is a... The kidney knife? That's cool. I wonder if you have to use the, the correct tool for this. If that's the case, it might... Maybe that will improve my times. Anyway, look, we have another operation. Let's go and do the brain transplant. All we want to do is transplant your brains. Um, okay, tomahawk. That looks pretty cool. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come back. Where are you? No, you're just hanging on by the edge. I'm going to need you. You're my... You, you're the best weapon here. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I've lost him. Okay. Um, Shall I use that, maybe? Come on, it's just like cracking an egg, an egg right? Oh! Uh, that seems pretty nasty. Guess I have to be extra careful. Come on. I like the new music. This is the brain transplant music. <laughs> Does sound like uh, the casualty theme, but uh, slightly different. No! Oh! Damn! Like, I broke the head restraints. Now the guy's head is just, like, all floppy. Yes. Oh, yes, you... Ah. As I said, it's just like cracking an egg. A very, very bleeding egg. An egg with a red yolk. And somebody's personality in there. Of course, trains and transplants for brains are utterly pointless unless you're transplanting your brain to a better body. But, um, maybe this guy is just like brain dead and they're putting in a new brain of somebody else. That would make sense. Ooh! Now, brain, brain, brain transplants aren't happening anytime soon. Ah, more likely you would transplant the whole head, to be honest. That would probably be a whole lot easier than actually transplanting a brain. Come on! Not that I'm volunteering to be a experiment or anything. Come on! Ah, no, he's bleeding really fast now. Okay. Just gonna maybe knock out a little more there at the back. I think the saw is totally inappropriate for it. But hey! I'm game. Oh, is that... Is that a surgical laser there? Okay, let's grab the, the uh, Hey, got the brain, got the brain. Aha, so we need to cut that out. What can I use to cut it? Scalpel time. Come on. I could try the hammer, but that would probably not work. Oh, there goes the watch again. Come on, scalpel. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, he's bleeding really quickly. I've got less than a minute now. No, I get just over him. I get about a minute to get this guy closed up. Come on, yes, okay, there goes the brain. Now, quick, grab this out of here. Oh no, it's a brain in a vat. It's a brain in a jar and it's really hard to reach. Come on, get my entire hand in there. I got it, got it, yes, yes. I see your blood leaking away. I just need to get this. Oh no, my hand's caught in his head. Come on, what way does a brain go in? Like, we gotta get the, the back. Oh no, I guess not. Well, that'll work. I'm sure he'll live. <laughs> Excellent. Look at that. Oh, now we have a disc three. Uh, well, we'll try that. I get a C, a D, and a D. Um, is that like cease and desist or something? No, no, it's a C. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, come on. No. Oh. Go on. Okay, I gotta try to pull this down. Hey, that's it. You see, that's how the pros do it, huh? That's how pros with floppy disks. Oh, no. Crap. Turned it the wrong way again. Get yourself straight there. I need to see your sweet, sweet contents. Brain. Brain, brain, brain. I guess this will be instructions on how to do a brain transplant. Okay, get the phone. Oh, we get Dazapan there. Hey, Rachel, you're right, kid. I was wondering what's been going on with that mystery meat you've been selling me. All of my customers think it's absolutely lovely. The other half have been puking their guts up. Well, not that I mind, mind you. I just put it back into the kebabs. Ah, oh, <laughs> catch you later. Ciao. <laughs> Guess what happens to all those spare parts, huh? Oh dear, how morbidly hilarious this game is. Yes, okay, now let us watch Britannia 88, disc number 3. The most diskiest contents of the most... Yeah, yes, well. That means Britannia is now... Oh, it's almost 5 megabytes in size. Wow, that's the size of an MP3. So we look, says circular saw. It said, okay, I should have known that the... Ooh, wow, and it is, it's like the... It's a bloody tomahawk to cut the brain stem. That is epic. Okay, well... Now, apparently, because we've done this, we have unlocked ambulance mode. Ha ha ha. And ambulance, well, it's all about the physics, isn't it? There we go. And as the filter clears, we are in the back of an ambulance. How did I get here? This is not my beautiful ambulance. This is not my beautiful patient. Um, never mind. 5,600 milliliters of blood. Nothing is leaking right now. Okay, so we need to grab something. Where is the saw? Does anyone see the saw? Oh! Oh, crap. I see it there. Now I know. Unmistakable green handle. What? I, I, you get this bottle of orange stuff you're getting in the way. And it's still a reminder to call Trish. Oh, and the date on... Okay, so call Trish has the date of the release on it by the looks of things. That is a very... This is very smart. Okay, come on. We're on a timer here. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. Oh, there's the heart! It's already out there! This is not good. Oh man, I hope, I hope the heart doesn't fall out the back of the... <laughs> hope the heart doesn't fall out the back of the, the thing. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the back is totally open. I like... It. Man, don't fall, don't fall. Cut faster, damn it! It's, it's only ribs, you don't need to be so delicate. Ribs grow back. Oh, I already said that, isn't it? Who needs rib? There we go! Wow! <laughs> this is like a serious. <laughs> There's some serious bumps on this thing. Okay. Come on, uh, this heart is going on a journey. I, I need to grab this heart. No! No! Don't fall out the back! There we go. Crap. Yeah. Oh, no. Come on. I'm putting you back in your box. I'm gonna be a heart. Heart containing box. Hey, there we go. Now let's put the lid back on that, make sure he doesn't move around too much. Okay! Lungs, we gotta get you lungs. Come on! Come out! Come out! Whatever you are, uh, or whatever you are. Arr! Just a bit of twisting. There we go. Now uh, on you. Go to the side there. Okay. Lung number two, the right lung. I wonder if we can put two hearts in there and make like Doctor Who or something. That would be interesting. Also notice blood loss is still okay. Yep, I guess I get about three minutes, four minutes at the current rate. Now, which one was the heart scalpel? Does anyone remember? Um, crap. Listen, a scalpel's a scalpel, right? I just pick the right one. I pick any off them and I can cut the heart out. Come on, I need to cut the heart out. 
Kalima, Kalima, Kalima. Okay. Yeah. Um, just reach in and grab it, right? Where is some dark god magic when you need it? I tell you. <laughs> you. <laughs> That's the kind of witch doctoring we need. The one where you can pull the heart out and then stick the other one back in. Uh, come on, just, just, I'm just basically attacking it until it stops bleeding. Or stops beating, I mean. No! I guess I must have the wrong thing. Oh man, bleeding, 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 too fast. Come on. Oh no, don't fall, don't fall, I'm seeing you there. Oh, is that it? Yes, yes, okay. Now let me let me grab that out of there. Oh, there, okay, you got that out. Now, aha, this is gonna be great. I have loads of time left. Get in there. Get in. Just, just drop yourself in and done. No? I said done. I've got the heart in there. What else do you want me to do? You don't want me to hook it up, do you? No, no, get back in there, damn it. Your heart. You're not a jumping jelly bean? Mexican jumping bean. Okay. Complete. No. What the deuce? Dude, do not fail me now. This is not cool. You gotta get in there. Gotta get in there. Get to work. Do not slack off. Listen, your heart. Hearts do not get a day off. The moment you have a day off, your owner dies, right? Get in there and get to work. I know you're... Come on. Time is running out. I've got 10 seconds almost. Ah! Ah, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Uh, maybe if I cut this thing and... Oh! Surgery complete. Oh yeah, final blood level. Seven milliliters. <laughs> it's like it was waiting until the last minute. Okay! Ooh! Know your syringes. Excellent. Uh, always interested. This is obviously the appendix to Britannica 88. Or Britann Britannia, not Britannica. Do not want to confuse that with a more um, distinguished you know, <laughs> publication. Okay, let's... Come on. Uh, throw that down there. Let go. Okay, now let's try and get the phone. Or let's try and get this. Hey, okay. Phone is ringing. But I... Oh, look. Pick up the whole keyboard. Pick up the whole keyboard and let's see if I can put this thing in. I wonder if the if the physics works if it's, if it's not actually touching my hand. Come on. In you go. Yay! Look at that, huh? Okay, green syringe reduces blood flow. Nice! That's... Uh, but I get hallucinations and headaches. This one... Increases blood flow, increases awareness, and removes hallucinations. Do not administer to a wounded patient. So green slows them down, and blue speeds them up. Ah, uh, I should actually try that green syringe on one of my patients at some point, and the blue one maybe. Okay, let's try and answer the phone now. Ah, uh, oh man, and my finger clips through the phone like a strange nipple or whatever in the middle of that handset. I also think it's kind of interesting the way the cable just clips through the front of that phone as well. Ah, never mind. Okay. Kidney transplant. Oh. No. Uh, oh, crap. Can we make some notes here? No. Let's let's note down about the green syringe and the blue syringe. That's that was me. I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. Okay, now let's go to ambulance kidney transplant. Okay, so hopefully this will be a little easier than the <laughs> a little easier than the heart transplant was. Hey, okay, keep your head straight. No, it's not good. Okay. And the bag's already open. It's a good thing there's no wind, right? What is that? Oh, there's a fire extinguisher there as well. I wonder if you can use that for the heart surgery. Okay. Get myself a scalpel. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now let's try and find where we got to cut this. 
There. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, hold still. Can you stop driving for a second? Okay, I think we got that one. Now we gotta get this one on the right side. You can see the bit to cut because it's a little kind of red. I'm just trying to get the right angle. Oh, there. Hey, excellent. Whoa! That's one of the advantages. Some some of these things just like jump out there. It, it, the way it jumps out kind of makes me think of one of those alien chest bursters. You know, it just goes. Yeah, except those have teeth, and the intestine doesn't have teeth, unless you've been eating something with teeth, in which case it might have teeth. But you probably don't want teeth in your intestine because your intestine is soft and squishy, and having things like teeth in there is probably bad. Anyway, I have a. Gotta cut this, cut this, cut this, cut this. And I should probably be using like some gut scalpel, but if I can't tell which one that is. Uh, okay, we got that one. Unhook here. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> and the kidneys are out. The kidneys are free. I can see them rolling there. But oh, don't you. Oh, it's back in the box. That's good. Uh, throw. Come on. Oh, come on! How hard can it be to grab intestines? They're only like 20 feet long. Okay, get this one. Now we're almost there. Okay, so we need to get in and remove some other stuff. And there goes the watch again. Maybe I should try drilling these things out. But then again, the drill wasn't actually included in any of the instructions that I was so helpfully provided with after the fact. Oh, come on, I can't pick that up. Okay, maybe this one. No. That scalpel. How about that one? Nope. For crying out loud. Oh, we got one. Okay. And we're bleeding kind of slowly here. We've done a pretty good job so far, actually. Hey, got that out. Let's try cutting out the, the kidneys. I oh, that was good. Excellent. I mean, I suppose I should be using the proper implement, but darned if I can find it here. It's kind of hard to see if I've cut this one out because it, you don't see it react. Oh, it's gone. I guess I must have cut it out somewhere. It'd be nice if I had actually just left the body, but I'm guessing it's probably wedged in somewhere under there. Okay, come on. Stomach. Stomach. You... Come on, we need you out of there. Our patient needs to go on a diet because, you know, whatever they're eating has obviously damaged their kidneys. Oh, there it is, there. Obviously been eating one of those cheap uh, imported foodstuffs which was uh, substituting melamine to basically make the protein content look higher than it actually was. Tragic stuff. But hey, you know, we've got somebody with all their guts hanging out, so... You know, tragedy is, and comedy are so very different. <laughs> okay. Hey, what was it Mel Brooks said? Tragedy is, is me uh, getting a paper cut. Comedy is you falling down a manhole and dying. <laughs> ah, Mel Brooks. One of the... Uh, he was well. He was much funnier in the seventies. But hey, you know he did produce Spaceballs, which is loved by my generation a lot more than it perhaps deserves. Blazing Saddles, on the other hand, one of the best movies ever made. Young Frankenstein, also faultless, but it is black and white. It's meant to be. Frankenstein, hey, got the got the kidney. Okay, get in there, get in there. Nope. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so I somehow got to get these in the right position, and they are not. They're not talking to their veins or whatever. Um, come on, get in there. Just, just move. Just slide up there. No, it's really hard to move these things that are inside the body. Uh, come on, up. No. Again, not having a camera that I can move doesn't help very much. Well, dear, maybe I can pull some implement out there to help. No. What's the bluntest thing sitting around? Uh, well, at least he's bleeding very slowly. I, could, I suppose I could try and find the green syringe and stop him bleeding altogether. Come on. No. No. Get up there into that little cavity there. That is where you deserve to be. 
No, 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 no. No, no, no. He's just not responding. I fear. <laughs> oh, what can we do? What can we do? Uh, I'm sure real surgeons have this problem. Oh, let's get the liver out of the way. Liver, okay. Now we can see what we're doing a little better. Just, there's just that pesky pancreas. Okay, ah, the spoon. Maybe the spoon will work. Maybe I, the spoon shouldn't be, it should be uh, relatively blunt. Let's try and grab it. No. I want to get it at a different angle. Oh, great. Now I've completely... Oh, there it is. So we'll use it as a scooper to push this thing around. Mmm. Mmm, kidney. Okay. I want to make sure that if I'm going to Bernard sure that I don't go anywhere near the kebab shops. Especially since the ones that are staffed by people with comedy Scottish... Hey, excellent! <laughs> Oh wow, A! I get an A! Even though it took six and a half minutes, most of which was trying to get the kidneys to sit in the right place. Wow! Now we have, oh we have the credits disc, so I guess, um, well gratuitous credits time where people get, get their rewards or whatever. Come on, slide down. Slide down that we may see your contents. There. Oh, and there goes the watch again. Come on. Come on, come on. Almost got it. Ah, now you're just in slightly the wrong way. Okay, let's get this disc out of the way nonetheless. Onto the floor. Oh, phone. Comedy message time. Okay, one comedy message, not a ringtone. Hey! <laughs> okay. Ooh, inquiries. I guess I better call Tisha my lawyer, right? 1904-2013. It's like, that's the date it was released. I think. I think that was the date it was released. Maybe it's not. Ah, come on! Give me your credits! I want to see. I bought this game and I want to be able to provide... Uh, will this go in? I think this is probably too much of an angle, but... I don't know. Oh, come on. You see, it would be a lot easier if it was just like CDs, right? We can just stick it in the CD drive rather than the floppy drive, but um, I don't know when the first CD-ROMs were. They certainly weren't available at this time. Come on. Turn. Turn around, damn it. I can't believe I've spent most of Surgeon Simulator trying to put floppy disk drives in a disk drive. I mean, like... <laughs> A task surely worthy of the greatest surgeons in the world, right? We need a ha steady hand and eye so that we can... Oh, no, don't... Yeah, come on, get yourself flat there. Okay. Uh, try again. Get in. Get in. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I see. Be one with the disk drive. Be there. Feel it. Envisage it. Imagine the disk drive grabbing you and encompassing your disk like body so that you may share your information with the world. Come on. The credits deserve this. Get in there, damn it. Ah. Uh, it's okay, you're probably right protected. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to erase you. Oh. Come on, let's try twisting the... Oh, there, now we get it straight, huh? Yeah, okay. God damn. Ah, now we can't pick it up. There. Get in there. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Get into the disk drive. You disk, you sodding disk. Get into the disk drive. You must get in. Invert, ingress. Enter. <laughs> Uh, hey, got it at last. Oh, holy crap. Okay, credits. Code team developer, lead artist. You guys are awesome and we really enjoy your game. Luke Williams. And we have... Oh, wow, this game actually had QA. Who would have thought it? Because <laughs> there's a whole lot of random stuff. And Black Heron. Yes, 
Bossa Studios UK. I guess it, I guess there must be an American one if they're clarifying that. I don't know, maybe there's a company in the US called Bossa. Anyway, time for the brain transplant on the move. Aha, get, get this. Oh crap, it's gone already. Let me be extra gentle. Ha ha ha. Cut, 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 cut. Hey, excellent. Just bring this around the outside one little bit at a time. Uh, avoid the f not the face, not the face, not the face, not the face. Hey, excellent. Okay, what else? Go! Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, hold still. It's like a Dremel cutting into an egg, isn't it? I, I'm i wondering, Dremel have all these different attachments? Is there an, a, a Dremel attachment for opening eggs? Because you know what? They have attachments for everything else. I mean, they have attachments for like removing lint from between your toes, I'm sure. Okay, there we go. Excellent, okay. Oh, I like, I like the bump that just popped everything off the top. Now we need to bring out and expose the brain stand. Although, oh, we are bleeding fast. Green! Green! Oh, crap. Okay, never mind. I was thinking I could inject him. Ah, there we go. Pull that out. No. Give me the tomahawk. Get in there. Time is running out. Oh, there's a green. No, oh, never mind. I... There, okay. Now, brainstem, I am going to sever you. Yes! That was rather easy, wasn't it? Okay. Now it's just a question of getting that brain into the cavity as quickly as possible. Don't! Come on, let my hand in there. But it's wet! It's all slimy! Of course it's slimy, it's got a brain in it. Brains are slimy. Mm-mm. All we want to do is eat your brains. Come on, ah, oh, excellent. Come on, I've got like 30 seconds left, maybe. 20 sec, oh, brilliant. What can possibly go wrong? I now have 10 megabytes of raw data. Ooh, new disk says, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, five question marks for clarification. And what have we got? It says, wait, I completed that. Why does it say incomplete? That is so uncool. Okay, let's take a look at this disc nevertheless. Come on, disc. Let me caress you so that you may fall down onto the surface that I may put you into the computer. No, I only need... Yes, Mr. Blue, I know you think you're cool, but I don't need you. I only need Mr. Black. Uh, and by Mr. Black, I mean floppy disks. It's like a very geeky version of Reservoir Dogs. Well, uh, come on. Oh, Ah, I hate this phone. Floppy floppy disk. Floppy floppy disk. I'm just trying to think what uh, operating systems used a mouse. You know, what, you know, Windows. I don't know when Windows actually appeared, but... Oh, crap. Oh, oh it's coming the wrong way. Turn around, turn around. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm so glad there's no like need to actually push USB things into sockets. No! <sighs> At least this one doesn't have the computer bleeding to death. That would be funny. Or maybe the computer could have like limited battery power and say, you must put this thing in before it runs out of power. Okay. This requires an inordinate amount of concentration. Seriously? Seriously, seriously, seriously. Okay. Get in there, damn it! Get in? No, 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 no. Uh, it's there, just get in. Okay, uh, get a little straighter. By throwing it at things, maybe that'll help. <laughs> like. Hammer it. Come on. No, I just can't make it rotate. I'm hopeless. No, it's going the wrong way. 
Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going crazy. I just like so want to see what's on this disc. The discs are cool. I'm just like a geek. I just see floppy discs and I'm like, ooh, that's cool. Ah, oh, there we go. Nigel, we've been watching your performance. We require your services in a special mission. By inserting this disc, you have agreed to come and help us. An agent will be along to pick you up immediately. Do not be alarmed. Well, I'm not alarmed, but I bet you my patient is. Okay. Oh my god, we are in space! Right, first thing is make sure the heart does not float away. And now I need to find the things that are floating around. Oh no, don't run away! No! No! It'd be funny if you could smash that glass there. I, I like the view of Earth out there. Nice and calming in the face of all this carnage. Heart transplant... So, so wait a second, if we were doing a heart transplant in space, that meant that some some donor had to be in space, right? So one astronaut has died and the other is like needing a heart, so... Like, I wonder how that works out. There we go. Ah. And, and I'm looking and I'm seeing lights on the surface of the planet. You know, that isn't really good. You really shouldn't be able to see lights on the surface of the planet if you are working under surgery lights. Come on! Ah. I like how the blood just flies off in every direction. It should kind of just shoot off into the camera as well for extra... authenticity, right? Come on! Taking out these ribs one at a time. There, that's another one broken. Okay. And I need a bit of an extra. I need to adjust this a little. Okay. There is the green injection. Maybe I can give it the injection this time. Come on. In there. That's excellent. Okay, now just two more ribs to go. Two, two, two. Yes, one rib to go. Fun. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we can just leave that. Unfortunately, there's no. Oh, wow. This thing has like spatial sound. Well, let's grab this. Hey, I can give him an injection now to stop him bleeding. Okay. What way? Uh, come on. Inject him straight into the lungs. Yes, because of course that's where you would stick any needle is into the lungs. Oh crap! I injected myself. Oh wow, this is like totally trippy. Now I'm just like, um, does anyone see the blue one? <laughs> oh wow, the sound is just like really bizarre. No. <laughs> so not only am I now in zero G, I'm also tripping my balls. I'm like ah, well let's get let's get the let's get those lungs out of there. The best way to get lungs out of there would just be to open that window and let all the air fly out. Come. Come. You should be easy to get out. You don't have gravity holding you in. Oh wow, like insane levels of reverb here. Come on! I need you to move. I need you out of there. Ah! There. Then we can send you back to Earth on your own. Okay, lung number two. Excellent. Now, I need a scalpel. Is that one floating up there? Is that one... F wait, where is it actually floating? No, that's no good. I need to find something... Oh, there it is, there! there. Stop, 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 stop! Oh, crap, it's gone. <laughs> I need... Oh, no, not you. I need to find something I can use to do some more cutting. At least the heart isn't floating away. Is that a, is that something I can use? No, that's like a that's like a cotton bud, and that's a lung. And I can't use that to cut things. Ah, that the blue. All I need is a syringe, a blue syringe, or a, or a scalpel. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, is that one right down the bottom there? No, no, that was just me imagining things. Oh, maybe I can drill the heart. No. 
No, I can't even grab the drill. Uh oh. Come on! This is just taking forever. I appreciate the music, I'm sure. Oh, there we go. Scalpel, scalpel. Come to Dada. Come to Daddy. <gasps> I got the scalpel. Okay, so now, now all we need to do is deftly cut out this heart and then replace it, right? Except we can't drop things in because... Okay. Because it's zero G. Okay. Come, come! I see you beating, but uh, you won't let me in. No. Is that... It stopped beating. I can hear it. Or I can't hear it. You stay on that surface. It would be nice if you had like some sort of magnetism. I have to say, I think it's terrible design <laughs> to have a space station with surgical tools that don't like randomly float around. Because you know, that's exactly what you want: is is a uh, surgical tools floating around a space station. Yes, let us discard this wherever it's gone. Now get the good one. And we just need to drop you in there, except we can't drop because uh, no gravity. Go on, get in there, do your work. Nope. Okay, this one's proving harder. This one is again a reticent heart. It no doubt wants to be transplanted into a Time Lord so that it will have a... It'll have a friend to keep him company. It doesn't want to live in a person with just one heart. That would be dull and boring. Get in there, damn it! Urgh. This would be so much easier, like, if the game wasn't designed to be incredibly hard. <laughs> Get in! I'm just, like, pitching it in there and seeing if it works. Nope. Grab again. And I, all I can hear is this saw floating around in the back of my head. I don't know if the spatial audio is going to come through on YouTube, but... Get in there! This is just gonna, like, be frustrating and then it'll randomly work, I bet you. It just better not bleed to death, because that will take five minutes. Get in! Get in! Get in! Ah, screw you, heart. You're just, like, the most annoying organ in this game. You're so annoying, Mr. Heart. Just can't get in. It's there! Can't you see those blood vessels? How, how can you be a heart if you don't recognize those blood vessels? You're going to be, have to be working with those for, like, the rest of your life. No! Oh, for the love of God, it is fun in games. Please start pumping. I need to get you in there. I need to beat this. Oh... I think half of the time I've spent doing this has been trying to get this heart to be... Oh, no, he's... What heart? Wait till you see. I, I am going to accidentally knock this heart out the window or something. I've got everything else done, but it just doesn't want to work. Get in! Look! No? No? Come on! Come off it! Come off it! You know you want to work. Eight minutes now. Oh. This is like the longest operation I've had to do yet. Oh. Wait, did that, is there two hearts in there now? No, no, that's just my good one. Just get... Oh, there, finally! Excellent, I get a D. Practically licensed. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, and I actually get like a certificate saying that I'm I'm an honest-to-god surgeon. That is rather nice, isn't it? Oh, shoot. No. I need to pick it up. I wanted to read it. Um, Pick up, grab it, turn around, turn around. That way. Yes. Well, I can read it upside down. Having completed the requirements, successfully passed the examination, is properly qualified to practice the specialty of surgery. Yay! <laughs> University of Barnardshire. <laughs> Aha! Come on, phone call, this is the last chance. Don't disappoint me. What have we got here? No, no. Ah! I've just been trying to do some of that. 
tripe you dropped off. Oh, tripe. Absolutely superb. I'm just wondering when you might be dropping some more out. <laughs> Oh yes, you all know what tripe is. Well, look, I think I've played all the important bits in this. There's a bunch of other achievements, like uh, killing somebody in 15 seconds, which uh, I guess will just take a drill to the head. But uh, yeah, this is Surgeon Simulator. It is a troll game. It's utterly pointless. I love it. And uh, it's about $10 on Steam now, and may or may not be worth it, depending upon your tolerance for pain. I am Scott Manley. Fly safe.